going to uh, explain these glasses. I just came back from New Orleans. Don't have to be rich. Shock the beat. Shock Actually building a demon killer. I think what they're doing is they're going to try to, and they're going to succeed at taking out Hellcats. guys so we're going to talk a little bit about the gt500 and this is a topic that was really popular a couple weeks back and the reason why was because supposedly there's been leaked photos uh there was a leaked spec uh document that that came out and i finally had some time to review it i went to a mustang meet the other day um and, you know, you're listening to some of these Ford guys about how, you know, the GT500 is going to kill the demon, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I don't really like to talk about something that I'm not educated about or at least acquired some knowledge about it. So, you know, I kind of just, you know, let them talk. And, and when I finally got some time, I went over the uh, what limited information out there uh, there is. And at this point... I, you know, reviewing this stuff, I highly doubt that Ford is, you know, putting together a demon killer. I really don't think that based on what is actually out there. Okay. So we're going to review and we're going to talk about what, what leaked information is out there about the GT 500 and why I think that it's more of a competitor to the Hellcat Red Eye. I think the Dodge Demon is on another level in regards to the quarter mile on a professionally prepared surface the dodge demon is going to beat the gt500 it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up shit slow down slow down slow the fuck down holy shit <laughs> based on what's out there right now so what Ford is planning on doing is supercharging a 5.2 liter um, dual overhead cam um, Voodoo engine. Now this is the same engine that's in the GT350 and the GT350R. Very good engine. It produces naturally aspirated well over five, what is it, 520 or 530 horsepower. Um, it's it's a heck of an engine, okay? And so when you put forced air on that engine, you're looking at about 720 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. And that is a lot of, uh, that is a lot to play with. But that is not enough to hang with the Demon. Um, that, to me, is Hellcat Red Eye territory, okay? Now, a lot of a lot of the arguments that Ford guys say is that, you know, for, you know, they weigh a whole lot, you know, Mopars are boats, et cetera, et cetera. Well, basically, based on this per, uh, this spec sheet, the GT500 isn't going to be too far off from a Demon out of factory, not stripped down or nothing, just out of factory. The Dodge Demon is 4,400 pounds. The GT500 according to the spec sheet, is going to be almost 4,300 pounds, 4,225. So there is not a huge weight difference between these two, and there's a pretty healthy size horsepower difference when the Demon is on 100, running the race racing PCM, so at the 840 horsepower on 100 octane. So... I don't think that Ford is actually building a demon killer. I think what they're doing is they're going to try to, and they're going to succeed at taking out Hellcats. 
okay? A, a regular Hellcat, 700, 7 horsepower, I think is going to have way more than its handful uh, against a GT500. Um, I think the Red Eye and the GT500 are going to be where the races are at. I think you're, you're talking a driver's race at that point. <clears throat> the Red Eye is close to 800 horsepower. The weight is still an issue, okay? The, you're talking 200 pounds or so. Um, so I think that Ford is gearing up to pretty much make this GT500 a drag strip oriented car. Okay, I think it's going to be less track focused, turning, etc., and it's going to basically be a Hellcat Hunter. Okay, um, so you know what? That's my thoughts on the GT500. Uh, throughout the video, I've shown the spec sheet, I've shown the spied photos. Uh, I think from a visual standpoint, it's really hard to give a, a idea of what you think something's going to look like, but I just think it's going to be a, a more aggressively styled GT350. Uh, or a GT350, actually, yeah, it'll probably be just a, a more aggressive version of a GT350. Um, but at this point, I want you guys to, in the comment section, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think I'm off base on this. Do you think that the, the GT350, I mean, uh, the GT500, yada, 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 do you think that the GT500 is coming after the demon? And if it is, Will it succeed? Will it actually break into the nines? Because that is what the demons are doing at this point. Multiple demons are now um, cracking into the 9.9, 9.8 uh, range. Do you think that the GT500 is going to enter that territory? Because me personally, I think it's going to be a mid to low tens car. That's just my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. So let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of curious to know if there's anyone out there that has any additional information from what it is that I've come across. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Make sure you like the video. And yeah. There it is. All right, guys. So we're going to talk a little bit about Ford and a topic that was very popular uh, probably a week and a half, two weeks ago. Uh, but I really wanted to weigh in after taking a, having the opportunity to look into uh, the GT500 and some of the leaked information that is out there at the moment. This is why you need sunglasses. All right, guys. So uh, we're gonna talk about the GT500. Now, I know a lot of you guys miss my eyes and everything, uh, but I've been wearing sunglasses lately, and the reason why is because I'm all right, guys, so I am going to uh, explain these glasses. I just came back from New Orleans. Oh, yeah, that's the move right there. Come on. You don't have to be rich. Lost my really nice glasses. Went to the same bar the next day, and they had these. And so I said, I'll take it. And until I, can, uh, until I get a new pair, I'm going to be wearing these ridiculous things. So, that explains the glasses. Now, 